If you're a Forex trader, I'm going to show you how to capitalize on some of the biggest moves in the Forex market each and every day during the London session. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to approach the London session, what is the London session, and how so many traders around the world make a lot of money trading during this period of time. Basically, we're looking at a five minute chart and in the green, brown, and red, what do you notice about the movement of the candlesticks during this time compared to this time? This time versus this time. And then if we go over here, this time versus this time, the point that I'm hoping that you're seeing is that during these three periods here, one, two, three, the market moves a whole lot more. So if the market is moving a lot more, we can make a lot more money in theory. The idea here is that the green, brown, and red represent the, let's see if we can write them out, the London session. This is basically when the London traders become active. And then the red session is the New York session. And the brown is just the crossover of the two, which is where we get the most trading volume of the day, each and every day, right here. So that, of course, when is this? You'll need to know when the London session is, if you're gonna be able to trade it. Again, we're looking at a five minute chart, so each one of these is five minutes of price action, and it starts at 3 a.m. US Eastern. So obviously, it's not really quite ideal for US traders, unless you are on the West Coast. But for those of you guys who are in Europe, in Africa, in uh, if you're in London, right? This is an excellent time of day where a lot of trading volume hits the floor. Why is it? Well, believe it or not, London is actually the headquarters or capital of Forex, if you will, when it comes the, uh, to global market volume. A lot of gold is traded in London. A whole lot of action goes on during this time. Now, of course, same with the New York session, which is why when you get both of these at the same time, you get this brown zone, which is basically the highlight uh, of the daily price action and things get really, really heated. So with that said, how do we trade this London session? Well, first of all, this indicator that you're looking at, I have it saved. If you go to tradingview.com, if you click indicators and you search up sessions on chart right there, I have it saved, but it's by this guy, AU rocks underscore AIF. If you apply this to your chart, you can also favorite it. This is what it's gonna do. It's gonna basically show you how to uh, see visibly all of the major sessions, the London and the New York session. You can also put the Asian session on there too, but I just have it off because I don't really, uh, for, for the intended purpose of this video, I'm just gonna be showing the, uh, the two major sessions there, the London and New York. So how do we actually approach it? So now that we have our sessions on chart, here's what we can do. Prior to uh, a major movement in the markets, we know volatility is coming once we enter into the green zone. So if we put ourselves in the pre-London session, meaning uh, about 2.30 a.m. U.S. Eastern or wherever you are in your time zone, what we're looking at is, okay, well, we have this kind of quiet price action. What we can do prior to the, to the London session beginning is we can go ahead and mark up our charts and say, okay, well... It seems like price is caught in a range between these two extreme highs and lows. And as soon as the Asian session ends and we start going into the London session, we can step our way in it. What you'll notice is that we just entered into the London session. Hello, governor. And we've already broken out of this range. Again, during the Asian session, what we often see is we see range bound markets. We see quiet back and forth price action moves. And then a lot of times we get the fabled breakout right on the London Open. And that, my friends, is where the trading idea comes in. If anybody has been interested in joining our VIP Discord, today is the day to do it. We try and bring real traders together into a single community where you can learn, you can see what other traders are doing, and you can jump into coaching webinars to learn even more. Okay, so here's the thing. Inside of the group, we do share trades. So you'll be able to see the trades being taken by myself, and we have a several other uh, traders here like Frank. He's another trader here in the office with me. Um, we share the trades that we're taking, but we don't just send them as like signals. What we do is we send them as full explained positions that we are taking. And there will be a link down below in the description. If you would like to sign up, please take advantage of that code that is down there. And uh, I hope to meet some of you guys in the group. Thank you very much for watching. So once we have a break of these pre London session zones, this is where we could potentially look for breakout trades. And if you're aggressive, what you could potentially do is actually look to short a break to the downside or buy a break to the upside. 
Again, we're going with the momentum because it can be explosive and all of a sudden. Now, usually what I'm doing, if I'm going to be trading a session like this, if I'm going to be more on the day trading side of things, I'm looking for at least a two to one. So for example, we could put our stops here somewhere in the middle of this consolidation because if price comes jumping back in there, we're just going to have to cut the trade. But if we're correct, we might be able to get away with a nice move to the downside, right? So for example, you can see in this case, that happens there. We get this explosive move down, and in just a short period of time, this is, uh, this is 50 minutes. For 50 minutes of trading, you would have had a massive 35 pips or so, which is a really big move in a very short period of time on something like GBPUSD. Which brings me to my next point about this, which currency pairs should you be trading with the London session uh, style of trading? Well, usually, GBP, and euro pairs are gonna be your best bets. You can also trade gold during this time because the volume on all of these assets will be high. And that is why the London session is such an active period of time for traders. A lot of money and a lot of different assets are being exchanged all in the opening moments of the London session. We're just trying to capitalize on that explosive move and grab a piece of the action. So if we go ahead and just sort of clear this, or actually let's re review what we just did. We waited for a key break. We waited for a candle to close outside of our consolidation zone, right? We didn't get the break up, we got the break to the downside. We sold on the first close with a stop loss in mind above price action here. So then if we just go ahead and sort of uh, go this forward, you can see of course, there was a lot more to the downside, but we're just trying to get in, trying to grab what we can get out of the market and trade the break. Now again, uh, let's go ahead and exit this. We'll go to the next day. And there you go. So you can see the volume really, really picks up and then it sort of dies down towards the end of the day. Now, not every day is going to be a winner and I don't wanna pretend that this is some sort of magical strategy that always wins because it's not, but the explosive moves can allow you to catch some excellent risk reward trades. Let's do this one for example. If we put ourselves back in replay mode, what we can do here is we can say, okay, well, let's prepare, let's pretend we're, we're taking our moments prior to the London session to review the markets, okay? Well, here we're about to step into, well, there's the first candle of the London session. We can go ahead and again, mark our extreme lows here, right? So we're looking for a close outside of that, and then perhaps a close outside of this zone here, right? So there's kind of our, our range. So we're saying, okay, well, maybe it comes down. And if it breaks the downside, we'll, we'll buy. I'm sorry, we'll, we'll sell underneath the lows. And if it breaks below, above, we could potentially look to go long. Now, technically, we did close outside of there. So let's just go ahead and play along with it. And again, going off of maybe the middle of our range here, we could say there's our stop loss. And again, that's a pretty good size stop loss. That's 26 pips of stop loss. Now let's just go again with our, our two to one idea like this. And again, we already saw what price is going to do, but for the sake of just illustration and example, in this case, we actually would have gotten stopped out. So there you go, not a perfect trade, uh, but the idea here is the same. Once this thing did actually break out, maybe we'd lost on this one, maybe we choose to re-enter. And this is again, how you wanna trade the style. If you, if you plan on being around for the entirety of a session, you might have the patience to be like, okay, well, I stopped out on this trade. So maybe what I'll do is I'll sort of look for a potential breakout later in the session. Now that we've got the New York session happening, let's see if we can get a break above that one, right? And if that happens, there it is, right? In this case, our stop loss would have gone in after this candle, so we could argue we'd go right there. Maybe we put stops just below structure there, go for a two to one, right? And again, all we're doing here, our goal, there we go, our goal with this style of trading is to capitalize on a potential rocket style move like we see right here. Now, if you trade like me or you are familiar with my style of trading, what I actually end up doing is I like to trail stops. So for example, in a case like this, instead of just putting a hard take profit on my trade, which is fine if you do that, I may actually look to trail stops. So for example, maybe at this point, my stop loss was here, and maybe I'm just gonna trail behind market structure because now we've had this little close, right? We found buyers immediately afterwards and now we're back off onto the races here in the New York session. That's looking like a healthy trade. So now I can go candle by candle and for me what this would mean is, okay, if we could put a higher low in, we'll hold on to the trade. Otherwise, we'll stop out for profit here. 
Okay, I'd like to see this thing find a bottom. Doesn't look so good so far. Might just be stopped out for. Oh, not quite. Look at that, it held our support level. So our stop loss was in a decent spot so far. And at this point now we've seen a nice little rally. So I'm gonna go ahead and off of that little candle, I would trail my stop. And this is just how I personally like to handle it. But again, the main idea, we'd be stopped out there for profit by the way, all done. The main idea that we're trying to go for here though, you guys, is that as a day trader, you're looking for that volatility and that momentum. Where you're going to find it the most in the Forex market is gonna be the London session, which is again, 3 a.m. US Eastern and usually eight to 9 a.m. Uh, London time, or if you're in the, uh, the westernmost part of Europe, uh, it'll also align as well. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for big breaks, we're looking for breakouts of structure, and we're looking to ride that momentum wherever it takes us. And again, it, it continues now. We're just, you can see once we get into the red, that's a clear signal that the London session is completely over. And with that, usually the volume does start to die out. The New York session is still capable of making moves, but the highlight moments are usually going to be like what we're seeing right here, that big explosive volatility uh, that happens right as the crossover happens. That's where you get a lot of those really incredible moves. And I believe that's usually about lunchtime during, uh, in, in, uh, in, in London. So um, yeah, just, just a simple idea. The, the main point though, is we're looking for these explosive moves, breakouts above resistance, breakouts below uh, support. And my main focus is to go with the flow, not trying to fight it. Because again, this would be a very uphill battle if you were trying to short this thing and trying to go against the flow when volatility gets very high during this session. In fact, like I said, most of the entire Forex moves happen in this window each day. So be on the lookout for it. Good luck with your trading and see you in the next video. Looks like it's time for your next trading video. Check out the videos here and here for more free trading content that should help you in your trading journey. We try and keep it real here. So make sure to subscribe for more content that is down to earth, realistic Forex trading content. See you in the next video.